intrinsic learning is the best remembered. Let me use this example. We're going to see how loved you were. Did your, how did you learn to, do you know how to ride a bike? Yep. Okay. So did your parents hire a bike riding coach? No. no. How about a bike riding summer camp? You went to summer camp. No. Did they put you outside and make you do bike riding drills? Huh. Bike riding progressions. You had to pedal right footed for a while, then you had to pedal left footed for a while, then you had to put the two together. No. No. <laughs> and we forget that, but the coolest thing is when it's intrinsically learned, like bike riding, it's the best remembered. You may not have ridden the bike for three years. You put yourself up on the bike, boom, you fly off without any problem whatsoever. Some people will say in clinics like this, ah, but what about training wheels? So we asked some Germans to do a study on those training wheels, and we found that training wheels slow the learning down of the bike rider. And of course, most of the people that ride bikes in the world don't have training wheels, just countries with lawyers and hyper-protective parents and things like that. So that's the best remembered. The worst retained, you see, I'm going to use John Wooden's phrase here a lot, you haven't taught them if they haven't learned. I see so many volleyball coaches going, yeah, but I, I, I taught it to them, I showed it to them. Yeah, but if they don't know it, they, if they haven't learned it, then you haven't taught it yet. You have to come up with a different way to teach whatever it is. So it's about retention, and retention is the most, is the best, when you figure it out yourself. That can take a while. Retention is the worst remembered when you're told what to do. That's the worst remembered. That's the worst learned way. When a coach says, shoot it this way, or in my sport, put your right foot forward. That's the worst learned. Yet, I did it a lot as a young coach. I told him what to do because I'm the coach. And in the middle of that, or to the good side even, is guided discovery, uh, Socratic coaching, questioning. It takes longer, but we must, as teachers, to get kids that don't look to the bench, we've got to get kids that are guided to figure out the answer themselves, even though that takes longer, because it does. I can just say, hey, do this with your blade, or, you know, blah, and instead I'm saying, do this, and guiding them to the answer. 